So I posted some information on somebody's question about garage doors and matrixes. And uh, I mentioned that I've been using projectors and I got a lot of questions about it. So I figured I'd do a short video about you know what I've done to accomplish this. So a little history. So I've got this frame that you can see that's built out here. Uh, I use this to support a P10 panel enclosure that was up there. Uh, I live in Arizona where it's cold, but we get plenty of sun during the day, and this is southern exposure, and it would get so hot and then so cold that I always had solder breaks on the P10 panels. So I got tired of replacing those or fixing those, so I've gone to this instead. Um, as you can see on the garage door panels, I've just got regular... You know the thin core blast you can get at Home Depot, so fairly inexpensive. Uh, I've cut those to the height of each panel of the garage door, so I just had to do a small adjustment on the uh, the lifting power of my garage door openers, um, since I've got two of them. For some reason, on this one, uh, and I I used just a neomodium magnets um, that with adhesive on the backs of these to attach them. But on this one, for some reason, I'd get a little extra wind coming around this side. And it seems like if it came under these, it would flip them off. So I just used some cable ties, some long cable ties around each panel. That way they can't tilt up. But as far as the projectors go, since I already had this frame built, I decided that I would just build some super, super basic, just two by four wood frames. Uh, there's a piece of plywood on top. And then I also put some screws on top that would have attached to a, a ceiling mount um, that would hold these projectors. And that way I can adjust them with the screws. So the screws are probably three or four inches long. They hang down quite a ways. That way I have a lot of adjustment uh, in these projectors as to where to get them to aim. But these are Epson 475WI Brightlink you know honestly there wasn't a whole lot of method to the madness in picking these i wanted something with a decent number of lumens um but i really didn't know a whole lot about them they were 100 bucks a little over that on ebay used i've got a couple you know just 2000 hours i think one of them's got 700 hours uh, they turned out to be plenty bright enough the adjustments that they have are awesome uh super easy to adjust the keystones they actually have custom keystone adjustments so that i can really match them up in this center line so since i've got you know a typical i think it's a 16 foot wide door i need two of them to fill up the space the height of the image that it projects comes up to this line and then all the way down to the floor so it doesn't cover the entire garage door but you know from the appearance from the road when you're watching the show it's more than enough um, so some of the other features that these projectors had on them, they're really for like a work or a school environment. There's a ton of options. I was really surprised at the options that there was available in them. But um, one of them is that they will power on with power, which is a really nice feature for these. Um, they also do have um, the link system. So you can, they, they hook up with um, a local network cable, uh, so you can power them on using one of the plugins with FBP uh, without too much trouble. Although that one worked great with the plugin. These two, for some reason, didn't want to cooperate. So um, I just used, I have smart things in my home. I just used an outlet that's up there it's just one of those little plugs that's a smart thing z-wave outlet so i flip it on both of these projectors come on because of that feature that allows them to come on with power so i took off this piece of coro on the front the only reason i have that coro on there is just for um, you know appearance from the road i took that off for this video so you can kind of see what else i have going on in there so i didn't you know i didn't make this pretty it really doesn't matter once it's behind that coro um, but there's a pie for each one of these since it's running a virtual matrix. I hardwire everything. I don't rely on Wi-Fi uh, for any of my FPP systems at all. 
uh, and then there's just an HDMI cable coming out of it. Super simple. Um, you know, really nothing's fancy here, but you can see how I mounted that up there. I mean, it's, I mean, it's literally just using its own weight to hold it in there with friction. I did throw a couple of screws through it so that it can't go anywhere, um, but it wasn't going to go anywhere anyway. So this one, a little different. I didn't have that frame set up, but I did have the soffits up there. So I just attached, you know, I mean, it couldn't be more crude, simple, but sometimes that's what works. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'll attach along with this video, it's a, a link to YouTube video so you can see what it looks like at night. But I was amazed at how well it came out um, for really not putting a whole lot of money into it. I think it'd be less money than dealing with uh, pixels and especially the weight of the pixels. You couldn't cover this entire garage very easily without adding a ton of weight. A whole lot of pain in the butt for you know what to do with the wires and controllers and all that. So I thought this was a much simpler solution. The high def comparison, I mean, doesn't really project in high def uh, with these projectors, but uh, when you compare it to pixels, it's really high def. Um, so shooting, you know, displaying videos or, you know, really detailed effects in X lights turns out great on this system. So hopefully this will help somebody. And uh, yeah, I think that's it to these.